Hello. Um, so, see, last time, what were we doing? Smithing stuff. Got some Daedric armor. What are we doing now? I think I want to do some more stuff for Neeloth. Two enchanting tables. Why do you need two? Clumsy! Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. Obviously not, or you would have a cup of tea in your hands. I suppose you want to be asked nicely. Very well. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, please find Verona. I shall be ever so grateful. Where did I put... Oh, yeah. So, Telvani wizards are famously pompous like that. It's just part of their charm, I guess. That one guy from Morwen, though, he wasn't terribly pompous. What was his name? Uh, Devaith Fur. Yeah, he was cool. So sad that you never get to see him again. I think it's implied that he died during the uh, eruption of Red Mountain. Really a shame. Steward's house. This is where Verona would be since she's the steward. Let me just uh, break my way in like any normal person would do. Oh, she's not here. Okay. that other guy where she is. Hang on. And I've lost track of the other guy. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Not recently. Neloth keeps me very busy with spell research. Ask Alenia. She and Verona seem to be quite friendly. Until next time. Where's Alenia? Is she the apothecary? Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh well. <laughs> That's okay. Just spawn me right where I want to be. She's not here. This place would be really easy to rob. Good thing I'm good thing for them that I'm not a member of the Thieves Guild. OK, 
Okay, I don't know where any of these people are. I might just do this quest later. Need to get the main quest going. There's a Dwemer Ruin over there. I don't recall there being any Dwemer Ruins on Solstheim and Blood Moon. That's new. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back up to Mirax Temple. And get this quest done. Sounds like everyone's still being hypnotized. That's a reaver. <laughs> Here do we toil. Oh, is that Thirsk over there? <laughs> uh, the reeklings. That's funny. chance and they're doing it in, in the in their own language. That's adorable. Ah, so here's Thirsk Mead Hall. Well we'll come back to Thirsk. Oh great. Now how am I gonna get back up there? Oh actually, you know what? I wanna show you Gildan Hole Barrow. That's a. So that location was uh, also in Blood Moon. There are actually a lot of locations here that were in Blood Moon. They stay pretty pretty faithful to Blood Moon, uh, but of of particular interest is Gildenhul Barrow. It's the place that had like those piles and piles of gold in it. So that's here. Now through him. These. these are these are skull. Our hands once were skull village. So the skull are still living in their village, like uh, three generations later, or maybe four generations. I don't know. They yeah you know, they live in seclusion up here the same little village of like 10 people. I mean, can you imagine how inbred they would be? Like, they, they would barely even be recognizable as humans. The, the gene pool would be so weak at that point. I missed Gildenhall. No, it's it should be. Uh, it's, yeah, it's over here. It's a little bit south and east. Yeah, so I'm deviating a bit from my original plan, but it's okay because I'm getting to mark all these places on my map. Make it easier to move around. Look 
Come here, Cross Troll. Come here. Come back here. Where are you going? Is it that? I think it's that. It's pretty far away. Let me speed things up a little bit. I really like what they did with Solstheim in uh, in this game. They made it a lot more hilly and rugged. It's not just a bunch of snow and ice. This is Skull Village. Yep. that weird sprint while strafing bug. I don't know how that happens. So there are two locations here. There's Gilden Hole and something else. These reavers aren't interested in sharing. Gotta be a way to get up there. Ah. Okay, here we go. Horker Island. So this island has a name. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, don't kill me. I'm friendly, I swear. than I used. So that's useful. There's an expert level lock too. That was not even worth it. And sometimes I feel like the devs are just trolling me. I 
am not very good at sneaking. Hang on. This will take care of it. It's a pretty cool looking effect. I mean, well, it's, it's not terribly convincing, but... I mean, the fact that this effect is in the game at all is cool. It's a key. Damn it. Where's the key? Where's the other guy I killed? Remember in Blood Moon that had a lock level 100. Okay, so I can't get in here. That's unfortunate. Maybe I have to... Maybe I'll get the key in a, the main quest. I don't know. If I don't get the key to that place in the main quest, I'll look it up and see how you get it. Because I, I really want to go in there. For the sake of nostalgia. Oh, and I gotta show you the car stack too. Ah, it's just so so much. Um, uh, what, do, what do you call it? So much nostalgia in this um, and when the expansion. World shall listen. I was gonna call it pandering, but you know that has a negative connotation. And when that world will cease to be. Here in his temple. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. You know, pickpocket is actually one of the uh, quickest spell or spells. What it means, but quickest skills to increase. So I, sh I could probably get some good skill XP and level up if I just um, pickpocketed a bunch of people. The problem is then you um, then you get arrested, and that sucks. I must not fail my people. We must find out. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. 
We should check these rooms for supplies and further into the temple. something I've been thinking about. I don't think I've ever really uh, made a character in this game that I've really min-maxed as much as possible. I mean, I, I pretty much know how to min-max a character in Morrowind and Oblivion, but I don't think I've ever really done that in this game. Like, what, what I mean by that is, like, you do every possible thing to make your character as um, as strong as possible. I guess as broken as possible is what I mean. Oh geez, these people were cooked alive. That's disgusting. Thirty points, damn, that's a lot. Problem is, I'm probably just never going to use that. All men, text me. can be anywhere, and there will likely be many. Mirak was trying to take power here, and protect himself in the process. I do not wish to imagine the kinds of things that happened in this chamber. Who are the poor souls trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons, or for his own purposes? Look up there. I think I see something. The stairs are knocked out. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know, you may find something of value up there. I should look around. You can How to get up there. Now get out of here. Come <laughs> on. 
min max this character, but uh, I feel like I am pretty powerful nonetheless. A bit early on in this playthrough, it was getting it was kind of difficult because I was underpowered in some areas and I was really spread thin. But now. I've got 100 conjuration. I knew I had something. My one handed is almost 100. No match at all. I have really good enchantments. Yeah. I'm pretty broken. Why do you make So, um, oh, that's good. I might use that. Um, another news. In this place must be rooted out. I've been looking at the uh, <laughs> the Daggerfall <laughs> Unity code base. I've been working on that a bit, just uh, researching it, getting used to the code. I'm trying to make a, a mod for it right now to like change the the uh, user interface to make it more similar to Morrowind's. Um, still really early in in the process of doing that. Of how, how the uh, interface works in that. Looks like a, a destruction spell, but it's actually restoration. I'm gonna take that just in case I don't have the uh, that enchantment. Attack! 
going down there. It would be foolish to attempt it. You have a much better chance than I to make it through these traps. I have no doubt that lever turns these blades in. I shall wait here for now. It's good to have a follower who's actually smart for once. took great pains to make it difficult to reach him, it seems. Let us hope that is the last of these traps. Sorry, the commentary is really light in this uh, in this part. I don't know. I just there's just not much to talk about right now. I guess. I do not know what it is Mirak learned that gave him reason to turn on his masters. But his path seems to have been a cruel one. I wonder if we will find some answers to what happened so long ago. I will I thank you for your protection. Wow, so difficult. I'll make a protection act! Build a soul gem with that. This may be worth exploring. Conjuration tome. Ah, it sucks. I suspected there would be something down here. Do you know those spells already? Yes, I do. Am I supposed to cast them? Where's 
my quest marker pointing? Should just ignore that. Look, it's a little baby dragon. That little secret door, that was cool. Reminds me of something you'd see in Daggerfall. Dead end? Impossible. There must be something more. Look around. I will let you know if I find anything in the dining area. I think I might need that for another quest. I don't think that there are any uh, regular Spriggans on the island. I think it's mostly just uh, the burnt Spriggans. Uh, Spriggan sap is pretty rare here. all the damage I could do with this. That'd be pretty nuts. I 
I knew it. A secret passage in the dining area just opened up. This must be it. Let us move quickly. I wonder if there is something here that tells the story of Mira. Nothing but ruined books. I do not recognize this statue. We passed by a few of them earlier, but they are becoming more frequent as we get further in. Hmm. I do not like this place. It almost looks as if these statues will come to life at any moment. Oh, those are those things that we saw. Back in Apocrypha. It looks like there is only one way to proceed. So Mirak is tied to Apocrypha. That handle to you. Now, I do not want to put my hand anywhere near the mouth of that statue. suspect that will be the case the further we go. Be on your guard. This is a pretty cool dungeon. I like it. All these little passages. So Mirak, he likes dragons. He likes Hermaeus Mora. And he has a name that kind of sounds like a dragon priest. unbalanced. It would almost certainly make things unbalanced, but I think it'd be cool if you could if you could use that shout and then once something comes under your command, then that doesn't count um, against the total amount of things you have summoned. It's like you could use that on one of them and then summon a Dremora and Like use a command spell on someone else, and then use like animal legions. And pretty soon you'd have a, you'd have a small army. That'd be pretty cool. 
this looks sinister. There are dark magics at work here. Ready yourself. This book, it seems wrong somehow. Here, yet not. It may be what we seek. Well, looks like we're going back to Apocrypha. soon when what who are you to dare set foot here ah you are dragonborn i can feel it and yet so you have slain alduin well done i could have slain him Myself back when I walked the earth, but I chose a different path. You have no idea of the true power a dragon born can wield. <laughs> this realm is beyond. You have no power here, and it is only a matter of time before Soul's time is also mine. I already control the minds of its people. Soon they will finish building my temple, and I can return home. Send him back where he came from. He can await my arrival with the rest of Tamriel. Ah, my brain. What happened to you? You read the book and then... It seemed as though you were not really here. I could see you, but also see through you. Where? Where is he? Can we reach him? Can we kill him? This is a dangerous thing, then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. Next time we'll go to You see that green light? Skull that village. comes from the windstone. Where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. Uh, well, uh, excuse me, we'll get to meet the skull people and see how inbred they are. And we'll do that next time. The village is just ahead. Storn has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. Until next time.